beyond the shoulders hip. A little bit beyond. I'm seeing like quarter inch. So it's just sticking out a little bit beyond the shoulder tip. Okay, so that way. Any other easy ones? We need to know where the hem is, right? So who wants to do that? Come on. Come on up. We're going to have to do the same pinching thing, but we have to be careful of something. Look what happens when I pinch. It's opening, right? So I like to pin it shut first before pulling it apart so we don't artificially make it wider. Okay, so do your pinching trick. quarter this way, but where is it on the floor? So for this we need two measurements. How about measure it here? Because it's sort of sagging because she doesn't have shoulders in there. She was wearing it, it would kind of pull it up on the side. <laughs> so from here we're going down five and three fourths. So we know that's three, four, five, and three fourths. And then we can just come straight over and out an additional three-fourths of an inch for that side. So you want to draw the bottom hem and the straight So yeah, we're going to make this a straight edge. If she actually had arms in there, it would be, it would pull up her hem to where it needs to be. Okay, so we're finding the length from center front waist, and then we're extending that same length straight out, and we're going out an additional three-fourths of an inch for her knees. Okay. So if I connected these dots right now, before we even get to the sleeve, if I connected these dots, it's going to look kind of like the base of the t-shirt, right? We're going to have a straight line here. It's going to follow her contour just bigger on the outside. So it's going to be straight, 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 curve in. And then it's going to curve back out over her hip. So we're going to follow her hourglass shape. And this was probably your least favorite curve to draw on the t-shirt because there's no French curve parts that does this S. Okay, so it's going to straight and curve in, curve back out, and then over her hip. It's a little bit of a wavy S curve. Are you seeing that? Okay, up here this is just a straight line, right? And that line is on top of her shoulder. Right? The fabric is resting on top of her shoulder. What should I do here? I'm going to curve it. Okay. So we're going to curve. Um, this point is a little lower than high point shoulder. So this is telling me this is going to curve out and up. So a little bit of a little bit of a smile shape. Now the fabric is folding right here. So rather than going to an exact, like, meticulous point, I like to put a little curve right in here to show that the fabric is folding. If this was really bulky, thick wool, like a big wool coat, I'd have a really big curve. But since this is a fine fabric, I'm going to have a little teeny curve up there to show that the fabric is folding before it goes down to the shoulder. Okay? Now, I'm seeing it's kind of denting in. Are you seeing that? Um, the collar isn't very stiff, so gravity's making it dent a little. So I'm going to dent it in to connect it. Okay? So that's the easier part. The sleeve, we have to kind of use um, our.
our imagination because she doesn't have arms. They actually sell arms you can hook on here in pattern making classes. You can sometimes make your own arms. I find it's easiest to kind of put her down to your height <laughs> enough and see where the sleeve would hit. Now it's hitting right here on the ball of my hand and that's a pretty common place for a structured shirt to hit. So just right at the ball of the hand.